Three Forks, Montana is a town of 2,100 people located at the headwaters of the Missouri River in southwest Montana. Three Forks draws water from several wells. The local water contains elevated arsenic that originates in the thermal features of Yellowstone Park, 90 miles away. The water utility meets the arsenic MCL by blending and adsorption treatment. I'm uh, Gene Townsend. I'm the mayor of Three Forks. Uh, I'm starting my uh, 26 years mayor. Um, Three Forks came into being uh, because of the Milwaukee Railroad. Uh, they came through uh, this area in the early 1900s, uh, decided Three Forks was going to be a division point. Uh, the town was incorporated in 1908 and uh, the interesting thing is, is that the Milwaukee Railroad also was put the water system in. They owned the water. And one of the interesting things about that is, is that when they started the system in the early 1920s, when they finally got everything in, they required that all water be metered. And so Three Forks has had water meters from the beginning of time, so we've never had to fight the battle. My name is Randy Johnson. I'm system operator for the city of Three Forks. Uh, this is the beginning of my 20th year. Our system uh, has basically two main water sources, the Madison Aquifer and the Jefferson Aquifer. Uh, we get most of our water from the Jefferson side. The Madison side, that's where we have the issue with arsenic. Anyway, we have uh, over eight miles of water line. Uh, we have 800 hookups. Our population right now is right around 2,100 people. And uh, basically the only thing we treat for is arsenic. See the bad thing about Three Forks is with the five wells we're only producing about 450 gallons a minute. In the 1990s the MCL for arsenic was 50 parts per billion. Three Forks blended high arsenic water from one well with lower arsenic water from other wells that were not productive enough to serve the whole town during the summertime. They had to monitor their produced water frequently, but the water was always within the MCL. By 2000, it was known that the MCL was going to be dropped to 10 parts per billion. Three Forks wanted to participate in EPA's arsenic removal pilot project but that required first running a small pilot project and collecting data. A national engineering firm with local ties spec'd out the pilot plant that would use an exchange media in a pressure vessel to remove the arsenic. They designed it and installed it next to the high arsenic well at a cost of $20,000. An iron media and an alumina were tested in 2001. We got two little kinetical cylinders. We set it up out at the, out at the well site, and then uh, we uh, had a flow of one and a half gallons a minute coming off of each cylinder through the media. That's when the testing began. We, they kept sending me bottles and more bottles and bottles, and we, every, anything they wanted done, we did. We did. And we would send them back east to a, a company then called Patel, who was doing all their testing then. Uh, that's how the process began, and within a, a less than a month, both medias broke through, which... Three Forks was accepted into the EPA pilot program because the water had silica, which is notorious for interfering with anion removal media. To participate, they put up a 450-square-foot building to house the pilot plant at a cost of $150,000. Once in the program, they tested Kinetico Macrolite, in a $1 million pilot plant paid for by the EPA program. The plant also included a sodium hypochlorite feed because the exchange process had to be accompanied by disinfection. They had to send many, many samples for analysis by the lab associated with the EPA pilot program. The pilot project ran from December 2006 to December 2007. This pilot plant was large enough to meet the needs of the town when its product water was blended with low arsenic water from the other two wells. At the conclusion of the pilot test, EPA and Montana DEQ judged the media to be working well. 
EPA gave Three Forks the opportunity to take ownership of the plant for $1, which it did. It has been running in the summertime since 2008. Quarterly arsenic samples are required. Levels are one to three parts per billion. Well, in order to bring this treatment into place, the first thing that we had to do uh, as a city was start chlorination. And to me, that was the biggest headache that I've ever, we've never had to do that. So like I said earlier, our, we have some mains out there that are 90 years old that had never seen chlor chlorine contact time. What was this chlorine going to do? We had a lot of brown water for a while. We had to do a lot of flushing. So once this was implemented in 03, we knew that, okay, I had a couple years to get everything cleaned up, but then you have the old galvanized services going into houses. You have all this and chlorine, you know, likes, likes to clean things up, and this is what it was doing. Well, there has been a few problems and ongoing challenges. First of all, like I said, it's a new plant. Uh, Connecticut, by the way, has discontinued making these. So we have a plant, we can still get product from them for the media and parts. So that's always an issue. Another was uh, IT support. You know, I just, uh, I would talk to guys from the Connecticut Corporation. Uh, once in a while there would be a glitch in the software. So I'd be up there at uh, 4.30 in the morning trying to figure all this stuff out. But there's always going to be little problems. And uh, I, I'm very fortunate that we have industrial automation consulting in Three Forks. Uh, they're, they're our SCADA people. I have a good electrician on board through Boss Electric, and they helped me to get through a lot of this. Well, the deal was with them was at the end of one year, you have the decision to make. The city does. You can purchase this plant for $1, or they'll come and disassemble the plant because it was a pilot plant. So we sent Tom a check for $1 and we got a million dollar plant. So the whole total investment was $150,000 for a million dollar plant. So in the summertime, total cost with running the, running the uh, pump and the plant is about $485 a month. That's total cost, power and everything, chemical, and then in the winter time, it's just a little bit more because we have to heat the building. So it's, it runs about that much too. But then in the winter time, I don't run that plant every day because of the demand. The in-town wells take care of everything. So the, chemical, the la, uh, less chemicals that we use, it makes up for power. Power for the structure up there is about $150 a month to heat it in the winter months. In the summertime, probably about 35, 40 bucks, because all you're doing is running SCADA and uh, a compressor will kick on once in a while for a backwash and that's it. Well, here we are at the Three Forks water treatment plant and uh, we have the incoming water from well two, the Connors well. It's coming in through this four inch pipe and it's being treated immediately by iron, liquid iron and chlorine. Then from there it goes into these two big uh, holding tanks, mixing tanks is what we call them, C1 and C2. That's where the product is, the water is mixed. From there it will go through our two media tanks, tank one and tank two. The water comes through the top and it goes out the bottom and the media catches all of the iron particles which is clinging to the arsenic which comes out as clear water. And then behind the plant you'll see uh, this little valve that says TT which means two tank. That's the finished product which is then going into the million gallon tank. The adsorption media is backwashed every three hours. The backwash water is wasted directly to the sanitary sewer. No solid waste is produced. Get as much education as you can at the water schools. They kind of let you know we knew this was all coming down and we knew a little bit about chlorination was coming down. So we were all, we got over both of these hurdles, but rural water, engineering services, they've been through it before. They know what they need to do. And then the other source with the EPA and just 
go letter by letter with what they tell you to do.